Hey, uh, I'm kind of in the middle of something. You want to see this? You can't see this. Huh? No, we can't see this. You can't see that yet. But the following is an exclusive Dead by Wednesday interview. So, uh, check that out. So, yo. What's going on? Joe man? from Dead by Wednesday. What's We're here at a fucking on? show, man. Chilling, chilling, man. I'm looking to get the scoop, man. When First. Worcester. Worcester, Mass. Worcester, Massachusetts. At least that's how they say it. I'm from Connecticut. We say Worcester. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But, um, dude, how was, uh, first things, dude, how was the road? What was that like, being that, out on the road? That was cool. I mean, we've been out on the road before. Being out on the road with, like, one of those official tour bus things. Right. I mean, it was badass. It was nice, you know, to have the little bit of luxury to be able to chill and relax while someone else is doing all the driving and shit. You right. Know? Um, but, man, it's... All the money went to that, but it right, was fun. Right, right. We had our own little bunks. We sleep during the day after drinking all night, you know, <laughs> just lay and relax. You know what I mean? We had Dave from Menace of Sobriety came with us. Juan from AT SOC. I hope I said that band name right. If I didn't, what you gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> what up, Juan? Mike <laughs> from Dead by Wednesday playing on the fat strings. What's good, yo? Oh. Glad to be home or what, man? Not exactly oh. home, but you know. Yes and no, man. Yeah, yes I no. hear that, bro. Happy to be home, but, like, part of me wishes I was still fucking playing night after night. Right. Every different city. That show's so good. I loved it. Word. It was great. Word. What's the, what was, like, the biggest show, or you think the best show, where you got the best vibe from the crowd, you know? Um, there were a lot. Yeah. But, uh, Fort Worth, Texas was really, really good. Really good. Because... You know, they weren't expecting anything good to come out of Connecticut. Right, right, right. <laughs> At all. So that was a really good show, and they show a lot of love out there. They show a lot of love. That Southern hospitality. Yeah, but Salt Lake was great. I mean, all the shows were good. All the shows were good. The smallest turnout was uh, at in uh, Hollywood at the Whiskey. And that still was decent. That was probably like 45 to 50 people. 16 shows in 18 days. It was... Uh, Pretty Sounds intense. like a grind. Yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty laid back, not driving for once, but uh, there was other bullshit involved in that. I True. Mean, but uh, other than that, it was pretty fucking killer. All the shows were great. The other band we were on the road with, they were awesome. Yeah. Intertwined, good dudes. We had a lot Intertwine of fun with them. Intertwined, what's up? Uh, I had a Grand Junction, Colorado. Nice. Uh, that, I mean, there's a lot of stories and a lot of, a lot of crazy stuff. Word. Yeah. What, what, what do you say the biggest uh, show that you guys played during those 16 shows? Oh, man. Uh, oh. I liked Ohio. I always like Ohio. Ohio's always a good spot to We got mad to homies Troy. in Ohio. Much fucking love, fucking Troy. And, uh, uh, that Texas was killer. Yeah, Texas was definitely a killer show. Uh, Colorado was pretty decent. I got to see some family out there, too. Oh, word. Uh, yeah. Which one was good. So, what was like playing in L.A.? Uh, it was, uh, I mean, Wasp was right up the street, so... Yeah, I heard Wasp was down the street yeah, from you guys were... the same night. Really? Wait, yeah, because Wasp? All, really? all those, all those <laughs> uh, like, the Whiskey, the Rainbow, like, all those clubs, they all do, like, metal night on the same night. Oh, okay. And they're hip-hop night on the same night. So, you know, there's, there's competition, but not really because people will just go to wherever... You know their favorite spot is, but for the most part, other than that, it was it was fucking Hollywood, man. So it was just cool to just be there, and Sunset see Boulevard, it all. Hard, walking yeah. up and down, you know, like being in Hollywood. It was nice, first time for me. Yeah, it was cool. Cali, so I, I I didn't want to leave. <laughs> I know, right? That's what everybody <laughs> says. So nice. That's what everybody it was, says. It was fucking so chill. Oh my god, I do anything. It's a different kind of vibe out there, you know. Absolutely. It's kind of like that. Seems like. Well, in Texas, you got that southern hospitality thing that I've heard of but never really witnessed until we went down there. People just right. come up to you, hey, how you doing? You want a beer? You know what I mean? Like, Word. why? Are you and your friends going to, like, Word. try is to it beat spiked? me up later? Like, yeah. But that's not how it is. It's not like how it is on the East Coast. Everybody's like, yeah, oh, we're playing over here tonight. Yeah, go fuck yourself, you know? I've, also, I've met some pretty asshole rednecks, cool. though, in Texas, though. Oh, of well, course. I've met, I've met my friends. There's my assholes share. everywhere. There, yeah, there's chicks everywhere. <laughs> but, uh... No, it was cool. People in Cali are like, oh, you're here, finally, man, cool. It's kind of the vibe you get from everybody. Like, oh, you finally made it here. Like, look what you've been missing out on. Word? Oh, word. Yeah. They're like, they're yeah. all cool. I don't know, it's, it's cool. Word. Venice um, Beach was awesome. 
man. Awesome oh, food. Fucking talk to me about the Cook Show. What's it like to play there? Do you like that vibe? Uh, you know? Cook's is cool because it's, you know, we're used to like small club with 150, 200, 300 people. Right. So it was that type of environment. Um, you know, it's it a very grassroots show. <laughs> we barely had a PA, but we made it work. Oh, right on. So, you know, sometimes those turn out to be the best shows. Yeah. You and, know? And since, especially, we had been playing every night for two and a half weeks straight. Every night. So when we go to Cook's, we were just like, I think we were a little rusty with the first half of the song. Like, the first song, half of that. After that, boom. We were just oh, word. Like fucking word, right on. Like, on fire, you know. Which I expect tonight, because we had a good rehearsal. Word. Rehearsal went very smooth. So. Right on. Um, yo, tell me, tell me anything you know about the new album. That won't, that won't get your ass kicked. That won't get you get your ass kicked, yo. Because I asked Joe, and he's like, I can tell you something, but I'm going to get my ass kicked. So, nothing specific, but I mean, I, we know it's coming out. You yeah. know, I, I, is there, are there some songs written? Um, there's a lot, most of the songs... Like, all of the songs are written, actually. Word. Um, we want to take what we've got, record them all, we're still writing, record as much crap as we can, and then figure out what we're going to use for the album. Ah, oh, word, okay. So, we start track, Opus starts tracking drums next week, or the week of... First week of May. Oh, see, that's something you could give me. Opus starts yeah, yeah. next starts week. Tracking. All right, dude. Did preliminary tracking for uh, probably like twelve or thirteen tracks. Word. Nice. So. See, this is what I want. I want all the geek stuff. When you when are you tracking? You know. <laughs> yeah. Um, one thing. Where, where are you getting your vibes from this album? Like, what you know? What's different this time around? You know, uh, because you've been there since democracy is dead. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, what's what's really different this time around? What are you really trying to get at with this? This, this time around, there's more of an emphasis on the musicianship, and there's more. Uh, we kind of collectively wrote, whereas the other albums, like the first album, it's pretty much all riffs and ideas that Opus had that we just you know composed into music, and then the second album again was. A little bit more songwriting from as a group, but not quite. This album, it's just kind of a different direction, but we still stay to the, you know, it's still Dead by Wednesday, but people are going to hear stuff from here, stuff from here. You know, we really tried to get really, really heavy and then really crazy, you know. I'm probably saying too much, but... <laughs> Word, no, that's good. It's just about, you're just talking about the vibe. It's nothing yeah, specific, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's 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 a really positive vibe, and every person in the band wants to put out a good product. So that's as long as it takes is as long as it takes. But Ross, it's definitely going down a heavier approach. It's gonna have old school roots, but uh, as far as the record, it's just it's still gonna be Dead by Wednesday. Uh, we finally kind of found a good nick, like a good little place where we like to be as far as. We've narrowed down a couple of mem members, we've gone through some lineup changes, and now we've found it. And uh, we've been working with it for almost two years now, and molding it, and now we're just getting ready to drop it, like, just record it. And uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be a heavier approach, but it's going to have the old school roots. But it's going to have different things to the table, different tunings, everything from different tunings to different styles. Joey's going to be stepping up a notch as far as singing, too. Little yeah. for everybody. Uh, yeah. yeah. Change it up a little bit, but keep the same. What's the vibe from from you? Cause like, you know, I know you're you're heavily involved in the writing process for this one, like big time, oh, yeah. you know. So, well, I I like it that way. I'm a very word. hands on. Like, give me more shit to do, and I'm I'm happy. I, you know, I, I, if I'm idle, you know, if I don't have anything to do, then it drives me insane. I like taking on big tasks, and this time I'll be uh, writing a little bit more, and I work better that way actually to have more to do i'm excited about it just got to make sure to work hard and not let these guys down when i'm sitting <laughs> right. there writing my shit at home when they're busting their ass writing all the music is what it is so these guys work their ass off so i got to make sure that i do the same basically word right on chesky's still gonna be there too so you guys won't be missing chesky yeah hell yeah he'll because because be yo He's right there you can the beginning he'll be there to the end you can speak to that man i mean his his lyricist game is like oh Crazy, Top right? notch, man. It's... I've learned so much. Like before, 
I did that by Wednesday. I didn't know how to, um, I don't know what the word is, use linguistics the way that Chesky does. Right, right. He's very, his, his vernacular, very fast paced, but he, he knows how, where to put syllables in the right places. And by learning some of the older songs, like on the first album, which I loved, um, Put Joey on the click. Yeah, it made me better. Thank, thank you, Ross. Yeah. It made me, it made me more, uh, made me better at my game. You know. Hey, this right guy, on, come here, bro. Right on, man. Hey, hey, you cooled off yet? Yeah, man. This guy's holding it down. What happened, man? Tell man, OFN man, our fuck what happened. Drunk girls that are obviously drunk. That's understandable. If they want to come make out, yeah, fucking make out with the bitch. Yeah, right. This dude is almost like that's Dora, fine. Do it, damage. But when you put your hand down the girl's pants and she pulls it out, then you put it back in there. You deserve a fucking beating. Yeah. So and I agree. That, that, he was getting ready to hit. That's just what happened. Yeah, my hands like this. Get ready to hit people. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, no, I was getting ready to fucking throw it out of fist. Like, yeah, well, I was looking because I was like, I was like, oh, I see my dude over yeah, here. That's just how I know, dude. This is my yeah. kind of hometown, so. Yeah, dude. This oh, is where I call Ruckus. You know we had your back yeah, anyway. you fucking laying down the morals, dude. Fuck yeah. Dead, yeah, by, Dead by Wednesday does not promote yeah, the knows. abuse of women. Y'all yeah. yeah, want to mess with that chicks at our shows, you're going to get beat the fuck up. Oh, hell yeah. OFNR, man. Much love to you guys. You guys do mad shit for us. Oh, Joe. Thank you, man. You do, man. We love you guys. Well, I'm going to be out and let you guys do your thing. Word, man. Word. Oh, by the way, dude. No lie, I'm looking at dead in your fucking eyes, dude. Fucking Dead by Wednesday is my favorite fucking...